<laughs> there was a clear contradiction in what Byakuya had just said. I need to make it clear to everyone. A new element has been added to the non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely! Next, we're going to play something called a true flashback. If you've a weak point and hold down the Y button, then you'll memorize that weak spot. This memorized phrase can only be shot once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change the truth bullet, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. If you don't seem to have the answer to a liar contradiction in your loaded truth bullets, it might be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that one to make a case. What's the best time to flashback? Well, you'll just have to use your keen wits, won't you? In this case, though, I would say that if you don't use a flashback, you won't be refuting anything. Well then, good luck and have fun. I don't fully understand this feature. Me neither. Gonna be real with you, Chief. Monokuma file number two, which is what? The file. The one that tells us how to hear a die. Like time and yeah. all that jazz. I'm just reading through it. So if I thought I was gonna shoot forward, went to find the body. But he was acting weird. How? What were your other bullets? This is it. This is my bullet. Girl's locker room. You absolutely take it. That's a natural reaction for any guy. Disagree. The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So of course I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? Was she taking me with you? Oh wait, I think I know what the mechanic is. So I think you have to hold. Yeah, I hold Y on one of the the yellow phrases. On one of the the phrases, yeah. Yeah, I was just looking through all the phrases. Yeah, and then you make that your bullet. Yeah, so, and then. He said Biakia was acting kind of weird before he found the body, but he was acting weird. How? If you are presented with the opportunity to check out Yeah, so now you shoot the Biakia with that. You absolutely take it. Sometimes I will say I'm pretty sure you have to save the bullet and then exit the thing. Like you have to, the bullet will be at the end, but then you have to shoot yeah. will be at the beginning. Yeah. So you go to the end, That's save the bullet, go through, for. and then go back. I was waiting back. for them to pull that kind of crap on me. Because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. So your claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because Chihiro was the victim doesn't hold up. I see. That's a good answer, I must admit. Celeste, could you... Could you stop? <laughs> you good, bro? How is that too weak? Everyone should be like, Yeah, no, you're guilty, motherfucker. What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Celeste, for real! What are you doing? Are you broken? <laughs> I just love the face. You need some face. help? I love the face. She's just so shocked. That's with Byakuya's attitude. It's like he doesn't even care. I've got him cornered, but he's acting like he has nothing to do with him. What's the matter? You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. There is. I think. There is more to it. Think about it. We just talked about the differences between this case and past Genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. Oh? Proof that I'm the culprit, you mean? <laughs> Keeps her mouth shut. Last account disappearing stain. I wonder what it is, Gabe. The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? When I want to kill them, I use my very own special scissors. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. <coughs> but Chihiro <coughs> was okay. suspended with. It was some kind of rope. Was it not? That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I was trying to help you right I've there. I've never seen that rope before in my life. Um, Obviously, somebody yeah. else must yeah, have was... had it hidden away somewhere. Okay, yeah, I tried that. Mm. Too slow, gotta go. Yeah. Uh, I missed you can also fast honest. forward. How do you fast forward? It's a button. I don't know on your gamepad. When I want to kill, I use my very own special. Okay, you go 
There you go. Scam likely. All right, gonna decline. Buy scam. You got that wrong. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Because, you see, that rope, or should I say, that extension cord? What? An extension cord? Did you not look at the body? Oh my god. Did none of you look at the body? They just all went you to lunch. The extension cord and they're all like, what? Owie. Yeah. And the same Owie went to donut, though. That was That's in a the lunch. library all this time went missing after the murder. And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that fact. Then Fiatria must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. That's really what you think? Then your conclusion is something like this? I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? 75% of it. Yeah. He's doing it again. He's totally calm, totally unconcerned. As if he's not even involved. Wait, not even involved. What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's what happened. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's it, right? Biaki is the killer. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. So you disagree? Wait. You agree with agreeing. So you agree. That's what that means, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think so. Oh, a game, right? So he'd be totally willing to do something like this to win. Um, sorry, but could we hold on just a second? I... I think we need to talk about this a little more. Sure. We really need... I know, but still... There's something that's still bothering you. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is still bothering you? I killed her in the girls' locker room, then disguised my crime. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. What about all that bothers you? Well, initially, there was no way for you to get into the girls' locker room. Something in there that concerns me. I got it! You say you killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, right? But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? How disappointing. What kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true letdown. Like, why? We're actually correct. You're, yeah. you're disappointed that we're actually coming to a good conclusion here. She was found dead in the girls' locker room. There is absolutely no question about that. The second time she was found, yes. How could the scene of the crime have been anywhere else? Well, I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, then carried there later, along with the rest of the murder scene. The rest of the murder scene? That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying all of that. I believe I do. Bianca, she's just... Did I take you off guard? It's the crime scene, Bianca, who's been so confident until now. Maybe Bianca never even realized the actual scene of the crime could have been somewhere else. Hey, don't just move on without permission! What do you mean she was killed somewhere else? Come on, Makoto. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Evidence that shows the murder took place somewhere else. I need to just focus on those things that got switched. Um... I guess I'll start with this. Yeah. I got it! The proof that she was killed somewhere else is... the poster that's hanging in each locker room. Your proof? Is some posters? The poster in the girls' locker room was a picture of a big boob supermodel. <laughs> that's don't you think that's kind of strange? Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally fake! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like Jack. I really like Jack. Meanwhile, 
Check the boys great. locker room had a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. Again, that doesn't really seem to belong in a boys locker room. So you're saying that maybe the posters were switched? And there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. You know what I'm talking about, right Sakura? You're referring to my protein coffee, aren't you? Protein coffee? While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. I hate how they use the word earlier. Earlier typically refers to earlier that day, not earlier this week. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. Now, it's not that the stain was scrubbed away. It was... moved. I got it! The stain on the girls' locker room carpet wasn't scrubbed away. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. Okay, I really wish I had the superpower just to bring up, like, photos of memories and things to use as evidence. That would be super cool. <laughs> then, does that mean that the carpet was switched to? But why would anyone do that? To move the murder scene from one locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible, don't you think? What? In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Huh? Why would they go through all of that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? I like how she's finally not, you know, demented. Yeah. Actually, an even bigger question. Shock. If the murder did take place in the boys' locker room, then how did Chihiro get in the boys' locker room in the first place? Wow. To get into the locker room, you have to swipe your e handbook. I like how they're questioning this, but no one's questioning how Byakuya murdered Chihiro in the girls' locker room. Yeah. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' locker room. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room to begin with. No, she did have a way. I highly doubt that. Shut up, I'm telling you. Is he right? Could Chiro really have gotten the boys' locker room somehow? Easily. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Make this argument sound... Is it really possible? Could Chikiro really have gotten into the boys' locker? Ah, I got it! She must have packed her e-handbook! She wants the ultimate program. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. Well, I don't think she used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker room no problem. Okay. Um... You got that wrong! No, I don't think Chihiro used Leon's handbook. Why not? Because Leon's handbook was broken. Oh. I am struck silent by how quickly you gave up. Plus, <laughs> isn't there a regulation against using someone else's handbook? No. Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing about borrowing one. In other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. Yup, yup, yup! Hit the nail square on the noggin! Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have had hers, like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... You can't fix an e-handbook. The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts blaring. So, if she didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook... Maybe Mr. Nayagi's initial assumption is just... wrong? It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess so. Okay. These people are I mean, these people are stupid. If something doesn't fit your preconceived notion, it does not mean it's wrong. It just means that you need to look at what you're misunderstanding here, and the case comes to a conclusion. That's the problem with I mean, a lot of 
actual detectives because they will. They're get gonna the wrong figure end. it out. We just gotta, you know, go on a class field trip real quick. Okay then, I vote for Biakria. That it then? Shira was killed in the girls' locker room. Biakria is the only one who did it. Was the one who did it really? But still, I don't know what else they can do. Hold on a second. I agree with you though. I think you're on the right track. What the? You finally decide to open your mouth, and that's what you've got to say? There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So, why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. What? What are you talking about? What other way is there? Well, to explain that, why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Oops, scared me. Wait, 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 wait. Just what do you think you're doing? Don't worry. This will make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please you. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? Well, all right then. I declare an official class trial recess. Which she can just do now. <laughs> For real? Now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? So, before I even knew what was happening, the class trial had been put on hold. We headed off with Kyoko in the lead. And where she took us was... The girls' locker room. The girls' locker room? We've already searched this place top to bottom! What are you trying to pull, Missy? You may have searched the top of it, but you certainly did not search the bottom of it. I'd yep. like you to examine the victim's body one more time. You want to check it again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. Take your time. Examine her carefully? Like using our hands? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! It's probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. It's not that I'm freaked out. Very well. I'll do it. But, but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. Ah, uh, okay. So just leave this to me. S Sakura. What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? Is that what you two are about? That's not uh. it at all. Okay, here I go. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. Putting her hands together in a brief prayer, Sakura then began to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Her entire body? I know you say that, but... What? This is... What is this... <laughs> Even the shirt is no! freaked out. Yeah, shirt's like, what, what is the it? fuck? Not possible. It's not possible. Sucker eyes were staring wildly at Shihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This, this girl is... Is what? Is a boy! Ah, I see. So she was actually a he. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. And now he freaks out. It's just the same joke with him over and over again. You're yeah. I wouldn't joke about this. Then, it's really true? Chihiro was... a guy? Hmm? Oh, what, you guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat! Chihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy! He was a cross-dresser? I like how you can't tell that that's Jack. It looks like Toko. That's just Toko. I mean, you can tell the so eyes. The yeah, but that's it. To show everyone, huh? <laughs> yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial. <laughs> I do apologize for keeping you waiting. Now then, 
Let's resume the class trial. We've all just learned of the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. Let's pick up from there. Yes, well, I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. I think that Chihiro was actually a guy. I thought the thought had never even crossed my mind. And because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, then yes, that would be true. Why wouldn't it? Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then, there should be no issue with Makoto's initial assertion. The victim was killed in the boy's locker room, and was then later moved to the girl's locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girl's locker room. So Chihiro really was killed in the boy's locker room? I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but yes, that does seem plausible. Well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. I knew he felt a little... off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. This is the most titillating situation! So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever. We still think you're the killer, remember? <laughs> very interesting. This has become very interesting indeed. Ah, he's off in his own little world. What about you? I like how we literally fucked with the After body and didn't notice learned, that that's a boy. Do you still think Byakuya is the killer? Well, without a doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. But... But I... I think he might not actually be the killer after all. What? But aren't you the one who accused him in the first place? He just seems to be too... easygoing about all this. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. The way he's acting, it makes it seem like it doesn't have anything to do with him. And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too... How can I put it? Overt. Obvious. He consciously chose to use the extension cord, knowing it could connect him to the murder. At least, that's how I see it. And Byakuya, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy, if you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but it's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct for the time being. Mark it as correct? He's right. I am not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to alter it. Are you fucking with us right now? No, I am not effing with you right now. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Well, I find it very hard to believe. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then, if it wasn't me, who was it? Well, I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. We're seriously gonna keep going? No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. That's true. Very well, then. I'm with you, too. Damn straight. Kill me. Do you not have a mind of your own? Of course not. <laughs> anyway, let's discuss this all as a group one more time. We still have time to make our decision. That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game <sighs> of hide and seek? This trial's so long. I just... Oh. I think the, the reason it feels long is because we have to talk to Byakugan so much. Yeah. I don't want to. Jack, can you talk more? Yeah, I mean, Jack, anything to do with Jack just kind of flew by. I want Jack to go. Where's the guy?
Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one. Did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said so. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that guy. All we need right now is any kind of new info. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'll just keep listening then. Isn't there a single clue? Well, did nobody get- I'm sure someone saw the- Perhaps someone saw the victim- Yeah. It's over. You want to know who saw the vic- The killer. And only the killer. There. No, it's wrong. I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes, I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. The rest of you had no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just hurry up and tell us! It was last night, right before nighttime. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. I saw him stuffing a crack jacket into a duffel bag, and then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. A track jacket and a duffel bag? But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Hero told me he was in a hurry, but why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding. Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much enough so that he was willing to risk Man, this really makes us look bad. Oh, what a marvelous friendship! Yeah. The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. No, you already have what you need to make the connection. I like that face. Just the kind of smug, like, you can do this. I'm like, uh -huh. okay. You know who the killer is. Seriously? Who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. Are you sure about that? You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't have? What? You want to track down some fingerprints or something? His voice is so condescending for an idiot. Yeah. Even if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Easy for you to say, but fine. Celeste, did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Shihiro's jacket? Perhaps. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. Yeah, I have zero memory of this, so... We know where Chihiro was heading. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he- What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that track- It matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying- The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as- My tracksuit is black! I, I don't even have a track because exercising! I gave you, um... You personally. I got it from the warehouse. What are your bullets? Did any of that really help us get any close? Celeste's account, library desk lamp, disappearing stain. I'm pretty sure I have to take one of these. 
You heard him, right? What he just said without even using Yeah. First of all, when he was on his way, so next we have to ask, why did he choose this specific What do you mean, the specific front? I got it! That I think Celeste's account is the bullet. The was wearing. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black! Why did you not fire? I pressed the wrong button. First of all, Luffy was on his way to the next bit. Why did he choose? What do you mean? I got it! It matched the one. So, what you're saying is the killer was wearing the same blue tracks. No, that's wrong! I like how us finding out who the killer is is based entirely on the killer being a fucking idiot. Yeah, um... You've obviously never played Phoenix, right? This is very normal. Huh? what I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... She never said anything about the jacket's color. So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you? You just... Hey, Celeste, what color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was blue. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Then... Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracks was? Ooh, Mondo! Yeah, Things that's... are looking so good for you, That's buddy. a Mondo bummer, man. Because I... I just... I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. Oh, wow. no, poor that talker. Me. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracks it was is if he saw Cherry with it before he died! That's the only possibility! Okay, I like her nicknames. Big Mac Cherry. Are you talking about your hero? So, how about it? Did you see the track or didn't you? Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me. And he No. That can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony. When Celeste noticed it. Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Yeah. It would appear you've dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it. To put them on edge. That's right. However, Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. Wait, I'm talking for because her? Because I hate him. What? I'm talking for her? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, the way he was acting. Yeah, I just... I'm very confused. I'm not choosing for Heidi. There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. Girls, yeah, he called yeah. the hero dude to us. Yep. And after so. he was killed, you happened to refer to him as dude. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. I noticed that as well. Did you notice such a tiny detail? Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! No, I love I'm Jack. not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Yeah. Mondo? Was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I, 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 uh, I didn't kill anyone. You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. We literally figured out it was you like five minutes ago. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah, he would never do something like that. The 
This is a false accusation. It's true. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. And because we've run out of leads, let's uh, blame Nike. It's probably his fault. Yeah. <laughs> my time has nearly come. That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You fool. Weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Jeez, does your confidence... If you really insist, then... Um... Here it is. Hmm? What do you have there? It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. Must belong. Mm -mm, no, it's for heroes. I mean, he doesn't have his, though. No, but he's lying, so, you know. I got it! We know Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? For a fact. For a fact indeed! I was totally sure I'd found it! Then it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. It won't even turn on. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. You're right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? How precisely did the handbooks get broken? How did the handbooks break? There's only one possible explanation. You already told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah! You remember that? Uh, uh, sure, maybe I let that slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession, then... Then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? Huh? You're asking me? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. But if I tell you, and someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. Just tell us already! Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> oh well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you will follow their example? Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting-edge e-handbook is... When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! I flippin' knew it! You knew it? Yeah, because I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you'd definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Oh, interesting. I learned one new fact today. That Shut is up, a partner. mere trifling speck of knowledge. Anyway, if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. 
Quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? What do you mean, by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? Flashback, flashbacks! I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. I might know someone who did. Whoa! Seriously? I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the was the person was... we've already accused of murder. Shocker. Aw, oh, Taka realizes it too. Yeah. Poor Taka. You're losing your best bro. <laughs> Sorry, baby smile. Her. Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago, remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. Uh, no, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. I mean, it's very easy. Mondo, what's the name on your handbook? Yeah. 